In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix crashing and not loading issues with Saints Row. So if you've just installed this game onto your Windows computer and it's not working, don't worry just yet because there are a couple of things that you can do that should get the game working very soon. So the first thing that you want to do is just ensure that you have the latest Windows update installed. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to select settings. Next, you need to click on to update and security and you then need to click on the check for updates button. And if Windows does detect a new update, it will then download and install those updates. Once they've finished downloading and installing, restart your computer. And once your computer has finished restarting, the next thing you're going to want to do is ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. Next, you need to expand display adapters. And as you can see, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to download the driver for that graphics card. I will pop the links in the description below to AMD, NVIDIA and Intel, where you can grab the driver for your graphics card. Once you have finished updating the driver for your graphics card, go ahead and launch Saints Row and see if that helped resolve the issue that you're having. If it didn't, then the next thing you're going to want to do, if you're using the DirectX 11 version of Saints Row, is to install the latest files for DirectX. And to do this, first you need to click on the other link that's in the description below to the DirectX website. Once you're on there, you then need to select your language and press download. You can then go ahead and run the setup file. Next, you need to agree to the terms. If you do, select I accept and then go next. And if you want to install the Bing bar, then you can. If you don't, deselect that and then press next again. And it will now check to see if you have the latest files for DirectX. And as you can see, I do have the latest version of DirectX installed on my computer. If you didn't, then once it's finished installing, go ahead and launch Saints Row again and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you want to do is just ensure you don't have any programs running in the background while you're trying to play the game. These could be conflicting with the game causing it to crash. So if you have Discord open, OBS Studio, if you also have a music player open, a web browser, or even MSI Afterburner, this could be, like I said, conflicting with the game, making it crash, so close all of those programs down. That also includes any RGB software that changes the RGB on your keyboard and mouse. So once you've done all that, and if that wasn't the issue, then the next thing that we want to do is just ensure you're using the high performance power plan. And you can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon again, and then going to power options. Next, you need to select additional power settings, and you will then see the high performance option there. If you don't see the option there, then you will be able to expand additional plans and you should see it listed. So once we've done all that and if that didn't help resolve the issue, the next thing you want to do is try playing Saints Row in a different version. So if you're using DirectX 12, try DirectX 11. If you're using DirectX 11, try DirectX 12. And if neither of those are working, then use Falcon. As you can see, I've got the launcher on my screen now. You will see this when you first launch Saints Row. If none of that worked, then the next thing that we want to do is clear the cache for our graphics card. So if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, you need to open up File Explorer. Next, you need to click in the address bar and type in local app data and then press enter. Now you need to find the NVIDIA folder and open this and you will then see two folders, DX cache and GL cache. You need to go into both of these folders and select all the files and then just simply delete all the files within the folder. If you do get an error like this, that means that there's another program on your computer that's currently using that file, so you can just go ahead and skip those files. Once that's been deleted, go into the other folder like I said and just delete everything in that folder. Once you've done that, now go ahead and select local and you then need to go into the NVIDIA corporation folder. If you see an NV underline cache folder, go into this folder and delete any files that are in this folder as well. Not everyone can see this folder. If you can't, then that just means there's no cache files within that folder. So once you've done that, and if you are an NVIDIA user, go ahead and launch the game. If you're using an AMD graphics card, then you need to go ahead and open up the AMD software, 
by going down to the bottom right hand corner in the system tray and right clicking on the AMD icon and go and open AMD software. Next, you need to click on the settings cog in the top right hand corner and you then need to click on the graphics tab. Now we need to scroll all the way down and then expand advanced and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. You will then see reset shader cache. Go ahead and click on to perform reset and then press OK. Once you've done that, now go ahead and launch Saints Row if you're an AMD user. If resetting the cache didn't help fix the game, then the next thing that you want to do is right click on the start menu icon and then go to settings. Next we need to select gaming and you then need to select graphics settings under related settings. You will then see an option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling if your graphics card supports this. If you do have the option then you want to toggle this to on. Not only will this help reduce the latency and improve the performance in the game, it can also help resolve some of those crashing issues. Once you have toggled this to on, then you will need to restart your PC. If changing the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling didn't help, then the next thing you're going to want to do is reset the settings that you have made within the game back to their default. So you will then need to change all the settings again, but if you did change some of the graphic settings and that's causing the game to crash, this is going to change all those values back to default. And to do this, all we need to do is open up File Explorer. You then need to go to the location where you installed Saints Row. And once you're in the Saints Row folder, you then need to open up the folder called SR5 and you will then see a file that says Display. Go ahead and right click on this file and go Rename and then just add BK to the end and press Enter. Now go ahead and launch the game again and that will change all the graphics settings within the game. If that didn't help, then the next thing that we need to do is open the Epic Games Launcher. Once you have the launcher open, you then need to select your library and you now need to search for the game Saints Row. Once you've found the game, go ahead and select the three dots and you now need to click on to manage and you will then see the option to verify the files. Go ahead and select this button here and it will now check to see if any of the files have become corrupt or missing. Once that's finished, go ahead and launch the game if that didn't help, then you will need to unfortunately try reinstalling the game, which will hopefully help resolve the problems that you're having. If you do have the option to install the game to a different hard drive, then do that. And if you do have the option to install it to an SSD, then that will definitely help with the load times as well with the game. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.